Hello, my name is Catalina and you are listening to another episode of Health Unplugged Previews. I'm excited to have uh, Christine Split with me today talking all about insects. So Christine, why don't you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about how someone falls in love with insects the way you did. <laughs> sure. So my name is Christine Split. Um, I founded the company, uh, well, I founded, the, I came up with the product Crowbar by Gather, which is the first insect flower natural paleo energy bar uh, in the UK. So literally for the last few months, uh, we're making these energy bars that we're selling um, in um, quite a few shops here in London and over my website. And the reason why I decided to include insects in my energy bars is because there's so many health benefits as, and also environmental benefits. And I could talk for ages about that. Yeah. Uh, so... <laughs> So please give us a give us like a, a nutshell version of that, and I'm especially you know curious to know that, know about your story. That how how did you you know how did you came up with this idea, and how did you ever first ever taste your you know your insect? Yeah, <laughs> how was I all mean, that? So I noticed that people were do were including insects in uh, food products in other countries, like in the U.S. and in Netherlands, and. Um, I've been into health food for ages and I do a lot of exercise, a lot of cooking and just when I saw that people were using insects in food, I mean my first reaction was that it's really, really crazy and really exciting and then I started researching it and realized the reasons behind and the fact that there are so many good reasons like really, really, insects are very high in protein, um, essential amino acids and they're so much better for the environment to farm than for example cattle they emit a, a lot less greenhouse gases, use less uh, resources such as water and land. Um, so I just thought it was super exciting. And um, when I tasted some, I was just amazed about how they actually taste really good, mm -hmm. um, which I think is really important. Like if you want to include a new, introduce a new food source to the Western world, you need to make sure that there's not just a lot of good rational reasons why people should eat it, but it has to actually taste good. And it did. Uh -huh. So that's why I came up with this natural energy bar, which I'm really excited to to share with everyone. Yeah, we are very excited to taste that as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's very exciting. So and and uh, how how one how how can we imagine a, like an, an insect farm or how how do you get the the raw material for for these insects? So you know so, you have to start with with the farms, right? Or yeah, how do you I collect mean, so, the insects? Actually, like three quarters of the whole world population eat insects all the time. So the, you can get insects from anywhere, literally. But I tried quite a few different sources and I realized that it's really important what you feed the insects because they literally taste of what you feed them. Oh. So I thought, I mean, so it's really important that you get good quality, right? Because a lot of people in the West, they've never tasted insects before, so it has to taste good. So I'm getting my cricket flower from uh, Next Millennium Farms, which is this um, farm in Canada. So it's a very big, very reputable farm, and they make organic cricket flour. So they feed the insects really good quality organic food. Um, so the taste of the insects is sort of a little bit <clears throat> like hazelnut, or a little bit like buckwheat. Um, so that's so what they eat, or, or why is it like that? Because you just said that uh, they taste uh, whatever they eat. Yeah, so they, they, like, they taste like that. Yeah, other cricket flour I had got from Thailand tasted a little bit fishy or something, which I don't think is a very, um, very good taste. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, sort of nutty is, is a better way to go, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and and do, do you know what are they feeding on? Yeah, it's, it's a mix of organic grains and vegetables and fruit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all like they have this very sort of technical document about how they farm and process the crickets at every stage and what they feed them. Mm -hmm. So all this sort of security information is available if you want to sort of get into the details. Yeah. 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 I'm just, you know, I'm just curious to know, like, how, how does it look like? So it's like an organic farm in, in Canada. That's what you said. Yeah. So and, uh, it's a, and, then, and then you get the crickets like uh, in baskets or how, how do you get them? Or it's already in They're flower farm form? In like a huge factory. Mm -hmm. um, and, so crickets and, and insects like to be confined to smaller spaces because uh, they're cold-blooded rather than warm-blooded like cows and chickens and so on. So they are literally just like sitting in small spaces in, in a big factory and it doesn't look you know much different to other factories I've seen. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Yeah, very safe and secure. Yeah, sounds very, very interesting. <laughs> and then um, you get these insects and you process them uh, in, in, uh, in the UK? Or yeah. what, do you have like a production facility or how can we imagine that? Exactly. So I buy the cricket flower from Canada, get it into the UK, and then I have a manufacturer here in the UK who is, uh, uses really, really high quality ingredients in terms of the dates and the, the nuts and the seeds that I use for the bars. Mm -hmm. So that's all mixed into um, the bars with the cricket flower at the UK facility. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you, you have uh, these bars and uh, do you have any other products at this moment? Or are you planning at this moment, no, but I'm really excited to come out with some because like the crowbars have only been out for three months. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope that maybe in six, nine months I can bring out other products which would possibly be crisps because mm -hmm. uh, I think that would be a really great product that, you know, because especially people in the UK are really fond of crisps. Mm -hmm. um, it's something you can just like pick from the shelf, grab it, share it with your friends. So I think that would make a really good product with a cricket flower here. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like a cricket chips or what is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh -huh. exactly. And uh, can, you, can, can you get like a flower, a cricket flower as well? For yeah, your yeah. Baking, fact, gonna... For your baking and stuff? I'm actually going to start selling this next week. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So yeah. we have the opportunity to get these at Health Unplugged as well, right? Exactly, yeah. I, yeah. Mean, I mean all these flowers and, and the bars and everything what you have currently, right? Yeah, because people can get really creative with uh, with baking with a cricket flower. Like, there's no end to what you can make. You can put it into like cakes and bread and snacks, anything. So mm -hmm. that that's all definitely going to be part of our product range. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's very exciting, and it's a new way of you know the paleo baking uh, mm. <laughs> alternative, and you know all that kind of stuff. And uh, I just read on your website that uh, insects contain more healthy fats than meat. So mm -hmm. can, can you just uh, mention a couple of more like health benefits of eating insects? Of course. Um, so first of all, it's a protein factor, right? Very high in protein. Um, then they also contain uh, twice as much iron as, for example, spinach. Uh, they have a perfect, almost perfect, omega-3 to 6 ratio. Mm. Um, better than, than all the, for example, whey and soy and hemp. Um, very high in vitamin B12. Um, so, I mean, there's really a lot of health benefits. I'm not saying it's like the perfect food ever because no food is, but mm. it's really excelling in a lot of areas compared to, um, to other foods. So, mm -hmm. okay. Sounds very interesting. And, you know, I personally, I've never tasted insects before, <laughs> so I'm really I'm looking, looking to give you a <laughs> yeah, I'm really looking forward to taste that. <laughs> it's very exciting. And, uh, you know, I especially to try those in, in my, you know, the flour in the, in the ba baking process. <laughs> mm. Because, you know, paleo people tend to use all these nut flours and all these kind of stuff. So it's a very, it sounds like a very nice alternative to those. Yeah. Okay. So do you have anything else to share with our audience uh, for today? Other than just come and check uh, your products out at Health Unplugged in London. I'm just really excited to be part of it. I mean, um, I'm gonna, I, I want to also sort of interact with everything that's happening at the event. So I'm yeah. going to bring, you know, quite a few people so I can also, I also have time myself to check out everything at Health Unplugged. I'm really excited about it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. All right. So for the audience out there, if you would like to find out more details about the event, then go ahead and check out healthunplugged.co.uk, where you can find all details about uh, like all exhibitors and as well as about the speakers. So it's going to be a really fun event and it's still not too late to get your ticket, your tickets now. I was going to say cricket. <laughs> <laughs> So, Christine, cannot wait to see you there and taste your lovely insect. Yay! <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks. See Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>